Good morning, welcome to Children's Chapel. I'm Pastor Tiffany. I'm so glad that you're joining us for this time of worship just for kids and their families. We're gonna get started together, so why do, let's stand up and sing and dance our opening song together. Today's A Bible Story is about Jesus, and it's about one of the most important things Jesus ever taught us, and it's called the Sermon on the Mount. So we're going to watch and listen, so let's put on our listening ears as we hear this story of Jesus sharing God's Word with the people listening to him. God's Story, the Sermon on the Mount. So part of God's story is about a sermon Jesus gave on the side of a mountain and what he did afterwards. And it goes like this. One day, when Jesus saw crowds gathering to hear him teach or see him do miracles, he went to the side of a mountain. It was near the Sea of Galilee, across from a place called Capernaum. From there, he gave a message all about God's kingdom and his love. We call this message the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus started by explaining who would get blessings or favor from God. He said the most blessed people are those who are poor, sad, or humble. He said God shows favor to people who are just or treat others fairly, and people who are merciful or show love to those who don't deserve it. He said the people who are pure, who bring peace, or who get hurt for doing right will be rewarded for their actions in heaven. In other words, the people who love others, even when it makes them seem weak or unimportant on earth, are like heroes in God's kingdom. Anyway, Jesus went on to explain that when we believe in and follow him, it's our job to show everyone else who he is by loving them. That means going out of our way not only to comfort and help our friends, but also forgive people who hurt us, love our enemies, and give to people in need. The thing is, Jesus didn't just talk about love, he showed it all the time. In fact, right after giving this sermon, Jesus spent the rest of the day helping everyone he met. Many other people who were demon-possessed or sick came to see Jesus. He brought relief to all of them. That day, Jesus taught a lot of people how to love and showed them what love looks like. 
Whenever somebody took their sickness or pain or fear to Jesus, he helped them. Everybody who met Jesus got to experience his love. And when we love like Jesus, everyone who meets us can feel his love too. And that's the story of the Sermon on the Mount. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Crowds gathered. Jesus went to a mountain. He gave a sermon. He talked about God's kingdom. He told us how to love others. Jesus didn't just talk about love. He showed it. He healed sick people. He saved people who were demon-possessed. He calmed storms. He showed his love to everyone he met. Our job is to do that too. And that's a part of God's story. The Sermon on the Mount was one of the most important things Jesus ever taught us. Jesus told us that God loves us and that we are to love others and share God's love. But Jesus didn't just talk about God's love, he did a lot of actions to show us how much God loves us and how we can share God's love with others. So Jesus did amazing miracles, he healed people, he fed people, he did incredible things. But each one of us can still do small things together as the church, and when we come together, we can make a bigger impact than just something that we can do on our own. So as a church, we come together and do our pumpkin patch to share God's love with our community just by providing a safe space. We come together at the holidays, right? We collect food, we volunteer. We come together in lots of different ways. And all those little things that we do make a really big impact. So it's important for us to remember that God loves us, that Jesus invites us to share God's love through our words and actions, and that we can then come together as the church to really make a difference in the world, to help people to know God loves them, to help people who are really struggling with not enough food or with not a safe shelter, there's so many different ways that we can be part of God's work in the world. So we're all invited to be a part and to know that God loves us and God wants us to share that love in our actions. We're gonna continue in our worship time with some songs. So I'm gonna invite you guys to stand up with us and sing. This is the light of my
Jesus loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. When I read the Bible, it tells me how to live. When I read the Bible, it tells me he forgives. Cause yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. When I read the Bible, it shows me how to love. And when I read the Bible, it makes me think of how, yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. The Bible tells me so. You did a great job singing and dancing. You can have a seat. We're going to end our time with a prayer. And remember, we can always pray to God no matter where we are, no matter what's going on. And we can always take the time to tell God how we're feeling and to pray for others who might need help too. So let's put our hands together and close our eyes and repeat after me. Dear God, I thank you for your love. Help me to share your love with my words and actions. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for spending this time with us this morning. We will see you next week for Children's Chapel right here at 9.30 on Sundays. And we have worship together at 10.30. Uh, you can watch the live stream right here online, or you can join us in person, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.